Two years ago, Lamborghini confirmed that it would launch a fully electric car of some sort. Today, we get our first glimpse of what that will be with the Lanzador concept. It's a precursor to a production model that will be sold alongside the other mainline models such as Urus, Rivuelto, and the Huracan's successor. The Lanzador's styling is very obviously Lamborghini, what with its wedge shape that runs from stem to stern. The huge fenders, squinting headlights and hexagonal taillight elements are familiar, too. The question is, is it more of a squashed Urus, or a pumped-up Rivuelto? We're not sure there's a wrong answer. It does seem to be something of an SUV or crossover with its relatively high ride height and the 2 plus 2 seating position. Lamborghini calls it an Ultra GT, which reminds a bit of Aston Martin calling its DB12 a Super Tourer. Whatever it is, it happens to have just two doors, or three if you count the rear hatchback. We particularly like the 23-inch wheels that are hexagonal renditions of classic Lombo phone dial wheels. Just above those wheels are some nifty hidden wheel well air vents that are part of an extensive array of active aerodynamic elements to optimize either drag for efficiency or downforce for performance. Inside, two sets of aggressive-looking sport seats are available for the driver and their friends to enjoy the Ultra GT life. The dash consists of two cowls with screens for the driver and passenger. Down the center is a cluster of controls that look straight out of an alien spacecraft for operating infotainment functions. The typical Lamborghini starter button with safety cover returns, and amusingly, it still references starting an engine in an electric vehicle that has no engine. Lamborghini also notes that the interior uses wool upholstery, more sustainable leather and recycled materials. Even some carbon fiber is recycled using a method that combines layers of reprocessed pieces with a more attractive top layer to finish them off. And besides space for four people, the rear cargo area seems quite spacious as well as versatile thanks to folding rear seats and the hatch. And if that's not enough, there's a front trunk too. Mechanically, details are a little scarce, but Lamborghini says the Lanzador would feature a pair of electric motors for all-wheel drive, and output would be more than 1,300 horsepower, more than 1 megawatt as Lamborghini put it. The rear powertrain would also take advantage of torque vectoring plus rear steering. It all rides on adjustable air suspension. As for other important aspects such as electric range and charging capabilities were not detailed. While a concept, the Lanzador does preview Lamborghini's first production electric car. It's slated to go into production in 2028, so it will be a while before we see the final product. In the meantime, Lamborghini is easing into electrification. All of its offerings will be electrified in some way by the end of next year.